I was a victim of sexual abuse and neglect. My father um, beat us. He used um, extension cords, usually, um, to whip us. It was just a cycle where again and again he would physically abuse her and then he'd go to jail and just keep coming back into our lives. From the very first camp that we did in 1980, God sent us kids in foster system and kids that were just really, their lives were a disaster. As kids are coming off the bus, they're being greeted by hugs and, and you know, high fives. And it was just really this feeling of um, welcome, you know, welcome to Camp Allendale. I just remember being absolutely blown away by the love that everyone showed me there. To have people tell you and run up to you and just say, you are beautiful, you are amazing, God created you with a purpose. We are um, having these, you know, the games, the Bible studies, the worship time, and a lot of this is new to me. We're coming together as a team for every meal. And um, I think I began to kind of uh, think of, okay, you know, maybe, maybe this God that they're talking to me about is real. We get to see that hurt and that pain and that suffering given to Jesus, and we get to see them experience healing at camp. Mm -hmm. Forever I was longing for, you know, a family. I was longing for parents. I was longing for love. And it was up at camp um, that I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. It started at Camp Allendale. It was through camp that we started coming to the Lord and uh, you know we're just going out and sharing with friends, sharing with family and seeing others come. God is our Father, you know, and we are children of God. And I think that's something that, especially the foster children, um, adopted kids who come to camp as campers, it's something they need to know, you know. 